Oh my god, give me that ammo. Oh my god. Ducks can die. Shoot all zombies. Oh my god, like a boss. A duck's opinion. Quack, quack, quack. Now again, I really feel like I'm just harping on this game, but I want to just go over why I think this is bad, and I want to know if you guys agree. Because as a veteran zombie player, I expected so much more coming off of the moon, and I just didn't get it. I was completely drawn and let down and just asking, like, why? Why? I just have so many questions of why this and that wasn't in the game. Why didn't they have a better build-up system for leveling up? Why can't they just copy the one from multiplayer and let us prestige? That's all I wanted. Why isn't there better custom games, you know? So we'll talk about the custom games and the leaderboard in a little bit, but I just don't want to ramble on about all the flaws right now. You know, I don't want to sit there and be that guy who rambles on this entire time about that. So let's move on and talk about something different. And uh, let's talk about my strategy for this high round let's play I'm trying. As of right now, I just had to go back and get a piece to get the Galvan Knuckles. I'm going to go back and get the Galvan Knuckles, and I'm for sure going to keep a zombie on this round. I definitely don't want to go any higher rounds until, oh my god, I am back at my spot. And we're almost there. We are definitely almost there. My strategy is to hold off at the diner. The diner is my spot, and to eventually either pack a punch, maybe a ray gun, and the diner gun... Or maybe this gun that I have and the diner gun. But either way, we want to pack a punch to the diner gun so we're able to run in there and get that ammo back as quick as possible. So we got a carpenter. That'll close all these windows for me. There we go. Don't have to worry about that. Let's take out the rest of these zombies from back here. And ducks can fucking fly. But my strategy is kind of do a circle strategy over, like, on the, uh, on the side of the gas station. I like that side. That is my, uh, side. Max ammo for the win. And so that's my strategy. And you just kind of build up points with the, um, knuckles until round 13. And then we'll go from there. And I'll just keep on probably staying there. Now, I do like the tunnel. I think it's an alright spot. I'm just not good at running that. That's not one of my major spots. Okay, we have a zombie left. That's good. And now we're just going to get off here for a second. Just to kind of get the zombie on a window and to also get the bus to move. <clears throat> so we're going to run it at the diner pretty much the whole time until I go down. And I want to at least get to round 30 plus. If I break round 30, you will see this video. And if I don't, you probably won't see it. But my main goal is to get to 40 plus. And if I break 50, that will be the highest round I've ever gotten to in a Call of Duty zombie game. Now, oh my god, how did you get up here, you cunt? So the highest round I've ever got to was on a map called Extension, and the round was uh, 48. It was 48. It's still on the leaderboards, and it was uh, with two players. We really have to, we have to make this. This is some bullshit. God, I hate how glitchy the bus is. Okay. There we go. Maybe he'll be able to actually hop on. I hope he doesn't come out from the front or anything. He needs to hop on the side. But um, my highest level is 48 on Extension of two players. And that kind of brings me to another point that I want to point out that is the leaderboards of Black Ops 2. Now in Black Ops 1, they had one leaderboard. It was called the High Round Leaderboard. No matter if, if you played one player, two player, three player, or four player, it would count as your high round. On here, if you play one player and you get to round 20, it will show up only on the one player board. It won't show up on the two player, three player, or four player. It only shows up on the one player mode. So this makes it where you can be like, hey dude, I got to round 40 with one player. And then your buddy can be like, oh, well I got to round 30 with two players. So I'm better at you at two players, but you're better, you're better at solo. And it's like, no dude, all that really counts is I got a higher round than you did. It doesn't matter how many players it is. And that's what really, it ruins the boards for me. That's why I'm sitting here doing it solo, and I'm going to try to get one high round on solo, and then, and then my friends can see that I got like 30 plus doing this on solo, and that I don't have to go play two and three players and get a high score of them because I have it on solo. You know? That's pretty much what I'm trying to get at, is that they've messed up the boards. Like, they're nothing like they should be, and so are the badges. They're like completely like, they're, they kind of makes it worthless. And the one thing that keeps you coming back to zombies is to fight with your friends about getting better scores. Is that not the one thing that really kind of makes it for us? It's the one thing that makes it for me, but 
We finally have the uh, Knuckles, and I think I've went over pretty much all the things that piss me off about this game. But when it comes down to it, the truth, when the truth really hits the fan, the major thing comes out of this. I would probably cover this game for about another week and get the last bit of Easter eggs, get the last bit of footage for high rounds and just fun stuff, and I'd probably sell this game. But I'm not going to just because of the main fact that I want to see the zombie maps that come out. Because, like, this game, Black Ops, Black Ops 1 honestly did not get good until, like, the second and third map pack came out the, with the zombie maps and all, and, like, new perks and such. That's kind of when it really picked up and became good, and I have a feeling that Black Ops 2 will become good when they release, like, the first and second map pack and we get two new zombie maps. That's when I think it'll pick up, and that's when I think that it'll actually be, like, a good, a good zombie game. Like, an overall game, as you guys know, I gave it a 9 out of 10. Like, an overall game, it comes with a fantastic campaign, a very highly addictive multiplayer, and a decent zombie game as of right now. But, and that's great. For $60, that is a, that's three games in one. And that's fantastic. So, it's a great game. I'm not really harping on it. I'm just let down by how, how washed down and how basic this map is. And I really can't be the only one. I know I've been rambling about it for 30 minutes, but this is how I really honestly feel, and I want you guys to leave in the comments. Am I alone here? Do you do you guys feel the same? I mean, are you guys new players and you're like, I love this game, it's fun and addicting? Or are you guys veteran players like me who's been playing like World at War, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 2, and you feel that they're pretty much, like coming from Moon, that they pretty much aren't giving us... Oh my god, he's back. Hold on. I need to concentrate here. This guy has to die. He killed me last time I tried this high round score. He's a cunt. Come on. Spawn. Come on. Show up. Bitch. Got you that time, asshole. I can't believe he killed me last time. He's such a cunt. I even had EMP grenades. And I threw like every one at him and he still somehow killed me. Dude, such a cunt. God, I, that makes me miss George Romero's. If you guys played Black Ops 1 and downloaded Call of the Dead, which is one of the, my personal favorite maps, they had a boss mode zombie that walked around and just pretty much just stalked you the whole time and he was George Ramirez, Romero's and he, he is a he is a director for movies who uh, pretty much makes a lot of kick-ass movies about zombies so they had him as like the huge main character and it was pretty badass but I like him so much more than I like this stupid electro guy I hate this electrical guy the only thing that I like about the electrical guy is that he's like the same electrical guy like, he looks exactly the same as the guy from the movie Watchmen. And Watchmen is one of my favorite all-time movies. It's like one of the only few Blu-rays that I own. So that's the only reason why I like him. But uh, let's hit that box a couple more times. Let's get Speed Cola. And uh, let's start working our way into getting ready for high rounds. I really wanted to get that gun, but uh, as you see, I tried to. And guess what? It didn't give it to me. Why didn't it give it to me? Because it is really hard to pick up guns when you're holding X. It doesn't work properly, and that's another problem I have with this game, just to add to the list. <laughs> but um, I don't want to harp on this game the whole time. I want to switch it up and talk about more stuff, but that's really what's really been on my mind, is just how, how much this game has been washed down. But... I'm going to stop trying to talk about that and I'm going to move on to some different subjects. I really don't have anything in mind. That's why I'm sitting there like still rambling about it. But you know, we'll see. Hope you guys are having fun though. I hope I hope you guys are watching this because if you guys are watching that, that means I actually got it. I actually made it to some of my goals because this game is rough, man. It is rough. I'm trying to do these high rounds here and it's just not happening. So I'm going to concentrate a little bit and shut up here and just try to try to base, punch these rounds, you know, try to get through these rounds. Come on, man. Where's that last zombie? Come on. I want this times two on the next round. And there's like... Every time I get a times two, there's that one zombie that doesn't want to show up for that times two. What you gonna give me? That ain't a good little outside G4 thing, isn't it? Oh. Fuck you. Fuck you and all your messed up ways. Look at that. That's that S12. Why does the S12 look so much like Galil? You get the S12 and you're like, wait a minute. 
This isn't the Galil I asked for. But whatever. That was lame. I'm just getting such shit out of luck. I can't stress that I've tried to do this high round challenge about four times now. And I just have some of the worst luck. Like, I'll even get good luck and get, like, Ray Gun right away. Go get Mustang and Sally. And then I'll, do, I'll come back and just, I'll get stuck on the, the semi. Or the electric guy will show up and he'll just completely take me out. And I'll be like, fuck my life. But these are one of the few videos that I have left because I did cover the shit out of this game and I did really enjoy it. You know, once you get past the honeymoon stages though, it does get a little bit rough, but I still, I still enjoy it. I'm not saying it's a terrible game. I'm just saying coming from Moon, the zombie map transit is just not as good. Moon is just so much, it has so much in it and it has so much to offer. And then we get this and there's so much missing. And it just makes me die a little inside. 